Hello there everyone, it's Ati Mafi and this is gonna be a very different video because firstly, it's gonna be unfiltered, secondly, it's not gonna be edited. Uh, that's right, this is gonna be a strictly audio video type format. I've wanted to make this for a very long time. I've alluded to this in my previous videos, I think, unless I've cut them out of uh, my ramblings then in that case this might be the first time I've mentioned it but yeah, I've wanted to do this for a very long time just let out my thoughts and feelings on certain topics that come to mind that don't really make up a video I don't think it's enough to form a even like a short video but who knows maybe I'm just that uncreative so I can't um, well, not uncreative, but more um, my scope is limited in terms of like how many characters I can include to make this sort of topic. But yeah, uh, in lieu of me not editing this video and audio, I'm just gonna add some background music and you know, all that. I am going to be timestamping everything in the description or in the comments i'm gonna pin it so if you guys don't want to hear me ramble about all the things i'm going to talk about or just want to see what i'm going to be talking about i'll have them all listed i don't think this is a podcast because i'm not talking to anyone and most of the and i'm not really I, I wouldn't say i'm not a fan of podcasts but i don't really listen to a lot of podcasts which does not bode well for this type of thing i'm doing it's I don't know, I just wanted a way to vent out what I want to talk about without it being a scripted video. So we're gonna hear a lot of ums, uhs, hesitation, a lot of rambling. This is basically my space to ramble, okay? So if you don't like that, if you just want like scripted um, content that is edited and has a lot of pizzazz to it, you're gonna have to wait for when I finish a script, whenever, wherever that may be. Because I have a lot of them in my Google Docs. I just can't be bothered to <laughs> um, <laughs> finish, or like record it, edit it, and all that. It's, it's literally, I have completed scripts. They're just in the fucking folder, wasting away. <laughs> oh man. So, anyway. Um, firstly, what I have a list. I said I wasn't gonna script this, but here I am opening my Google Docs um, to have like a list of things I wanna talk about. Cause I can't completely go off script apparently when it, even when it comes to videos like this. Okay, so I wanna talk about characters that are aggressive. You know that aggressive character trope that's not the main character and um, a popular example Bakugo from um, My Hero Academia then we have Baro from um, Blue Lock I don't know why I hesitate in saying that <laughs> but yeah the two of them are examples of aggressive foul mouth fucking m more likely to fucking kill everyone <laughs> who gets in their way uh, but they have this quirk which is being a neat freak being surprisingly well um, they have an organized life like for example Bakugo I know he is uh, he's very how you say this capable of um, being independent he knows how to cook he knows how to clean he's smart in academics he's a good student i mean <laughs> you know literally everything but interacting with people right and he also goes to sleep early at a reasonable time which is 8 30 if i don't if i'm remembering the manga panel correctly so my dude bakugo is very organized very you know he has a schedule he sticks to it and it works for him he has a work ethic that is, um, I, I would say, envious. Same with Baro from Blue Lock. Um, this might be spoilers if you haven't um, 
watched Blue Lock, but um, yeah, Baro is the guy who is referred to as the king in the earlier um, chapters or earlier episodes. Uh, the guy is voiced by um, Junichi Suwabe, is that right? The guy who also voices um, Aomine in Kuroko no Basuke and in um, Sukuna as... What do I mean Sukuna as? I mean Sukuna in Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, let me see uh, if you can hear me typing. Yeah, that's... I'm gonna search it to confirm whether I'm right. Uh, yeah, Junichi Suwabe. He... Oh, yeah, yeah. Um... You know what? It's easier if I just say Sukuna say you. It is Junichi Suwabe, right? Oh, why are you not showing me who's the voice actor? Japanese. Yeah, he is, he is. Right, so that guy, oh my gosh, his voice is very iconic, very uh, recognizable, identifiable. And Speaking of, a little bit of a tangent that I did not include, but since we're talking about um, Sukuna and his voice, have you heard of the Russian Sukuna? He, it, it sounds so much like Japanese Sukuna. Okay, now I'm tempted to add like a video of what I mean, but no, we'll just, I will just link it down below what I'm referring to. So anything I'm referring to, I will just link all of that and you guys do the work yourselves to <laughs> find. I mean, you're not finding it. You're just literally clicking the link to listen to him. I want it as my um, ringtone because it sounds so much like Junichi Suwabe. Like the inflection, the, the, the you, you know that that standard we have when it comes to like Japanese voice acting? That's what... Um, when I say like good dubbing, Russian Sukuna is like top tier. And it's not even official from what I've um, seen from the comments, though I might be wrong. I, I don't know if it's um, actually the Russian dub because, um, you know, there is fan dubbing. And if it, I think it's a fan dub, it's really good. I wish, I wish they made it official and he's the first guy who they pick to voice um, Sukuna because he got it's it's really eerily uncanny you know I don't speak Russian I don't speak Japanese but but you know it's eerily similar he the voice actor the Russian voice actor really got it like down to pat it's like really good oh my gosh I can't stop fangirling over it because it's so it's that that kind of voice acting is the one I want when it comes to dubbing. So speaking of dubbing, <laughs> I'm, I'm totally throwing out the bulletin points I have there, but who cares? So when it comes to English dubbing and why I don't like it, because I used to be, you know, part of the whole dub versus sub, and clearly I was in the sub, but um, I mean, one of the good examples of a good dub is... Um, Orange High School Host Club, that was a very good dub um, anime. But yeah, I, I, I mean, that was like, in my mind back then, that was the exception, not the rule. Um, I still have the same opinion now because I don't know. It, it's When you hear an English dub, you can tell who voice acts it, right? I don't know if they've increased because there are a lot of voice actors now, I think, you know, nowadays, you know, who are talented. I think they just need to be noticed by the corporations or whatever. Um, but to me, it just, I cannot hear the character. I just hear the voice actor, which is such a shame because the voice actors are good. They're, the, the, I just can't separate, I, I, I cannot separate or... Yeah, I cannot separate the voice actor from the character. I will always just hear the voice actor. I think, I don't know if it's just because I'm indoctrinated to 
hate dub that I always hear the voice actor um, or if it's because like English voice actors are typecast into a role but I mean I guess for those who are like really into voice acting you can argue with me that um, most Japanese actors are also typecast into the role uh, a specific role depending on their voice uh, but I don't know maybe maybe I just I maybe it's also the American accent right you know because for example black butler Victorian England and then the dub is in American English it's like eh, we're kind of not fit with the vibe I mean you could argue that Japanese also doesn't but that's that's besides the point because that the Japanese are the original creator so and me you know can I mean I guess you could give them like a Kansai dialect or you know other Japanese dialects but that's besides the point um I don't think I've heard of Moriarty because uh, the dub I th- I've heard of um when Moriarty calls uh, that that one scene in the train that iconic one. I've I've seen I've heard the dub. I've heard the original, but I don't know. I I don't remember if there was an accent or if it was just like um not clear. When I think of like um I want dubbed to have like a diverse set of accents I mean think of Castlevania Alucard all of them have that European accent I I hesitate to identify because I'm not familiar with European accents I mean I know the stereotypical European accents but um, beyond that I'm just like uh, I don't know I don't really want a label in case I'm 100% wrong you know but yeah so there's that um what else okay so we're gonna go back to uh, my bulletin points <laughs> technically we're still in the second one but shush, shush. um anime seasons whenever anime get released there's like spring summer um fall and then winter to be honest, I don't know how people can catch up with all that. <laughs> I'm, uh, I don't even know. Like, I just know when they're gonna release, but I don't know what counts as a fall. I mean, they follow Japanese seasons, right? But for me, as a Filipino who have only knows hot as fuck, where you're about to die, kind of hot and um, rainy typhoon season. The four season concept to me is kind of eh, it's like a waste of time. I don't want to I don't bother trying to um take note of it aside from knowing like vaguely when it starts cuz that's none of my concern. <laughs> uh, like what's the point <laughs> when all I'm going to do is be envious of people who've seen snow. I I know I know that people are like oh snow is bad snow is horrible snow is not worth it but yes i get it i know like but it's the foreign appeal to it you know as someone who's never touched snow i've seen snow i i know how horrible snow can get from like true crime stuff um but you know just the safe snow I don't think it's a bad thing to want to experience, right? So, yeah. Even back then, it, when I was in elementary and, um, you know, into anime, into catching up with new releases, I can never get uh, the whole season anime right. 
whenever I think it's a spring anime, it's actually a winter one, and I'm like, wait, why is it winter? I thought it was spring, and then I'm like, ah, oh, maybe I'm just mixing this up with American seasons, because there's like some differences, right? Or <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, and oh my gosh, because the further up you are, obviously, you know, the more summers or less summers you will get so i'm kind of maybe that's why i'm confusing japanese seasons with other foreign countries hmm, mainly the west mainly america so yeah maybe that's why but as well as back then i wasn't really sure where to follow like um anime yeah you know i was a kid i didn't know twitter those were the good old days i reckon <laughs> uh, we, i had facebook but i um i didn't really know which pages to follow and i mostly followed like appreciation pages groups you know pinoy at utaku <laughs> ph utaku and stuff like that those kinds of like you know um the ones where they post those anime quotes with the different anime characters um let me just search one right now anime quotes not the ones where it's actually from canon but those like the real eyes realize um realize type stuff <laughs> the one uh, like <clears throat> like anime quotes wallpaper the there's one I found. Um, I tried to live, but I'm too tired to survive. Those types of quotes with like all the different like anime characters. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember posting this thinking like, oh my gosh, I'm 13 and that's deep. <laughs> literally. That's literally me. Oh man, I used to have like a whole notebook full of like quotes like this. For example, this um, Luch quote, happiness, I don't know if it, I think this is a legit quote. Happiness is like glass. It may be all around you, yet be invisible. You know? <laughs> oh man, this was my bread and butter when it comes to anime posts back then. <laughs> when I'm alone, I think. When I think, I remember. When I remember, I feel pain. When I feel pain, I cry. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Um, these are so early 2000s. Holy shit. I don't know if it's still... Um, I don't know if people still post these now. Because it's kind of... <laughs> but some of these are so... <laughs> Okay, here here we have another one. Love is just a word until someone comes along and gives it meaning, you know? And then there's like a sho shoujo anime screenshot in the back. Oh, like filters and all that. Oh, man. Such a long time. Like a dark, <laughs> the dark past of an anime fan back in the early 2000s. <laughs> so... You know, aside from me being incapable of catching up or being up to date with anime seasons, aside from nowadays, I just don't care because I don't have the time. Um, now, I have to talk about manga versus anime. And it's not like a argument of whether anime or manga is the better one. You know, um, I'm a connoisseur of all form of media be that um even like the cringy live actions uh some live actions are good some are i think shoujo like you know slice of life down to earth type of um live action anime can be beneficial we don't talk about netflix live action okay like that's 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 an automatic no but some of them some adaptations are really good i mean really good being mid but it's the best we could do for now you know as soon as people keep pushing for more live action hopefully 
we actually, you know, because CGI has improved a lot. Maybe, just maybe, we can see our main characters um, on the big screen. As well as, I've seen the YouTuber who edits a lot of his, like, it it's, looks low grade, you know, his cosplays and stuff, but then he edits it and it looks so cool. Uh, the latest one I've seen is the one where he edited himself as Gojo Sotaro and my god that was great speaking of speaking of Gojo Sotaro by the way uh, you know I hate I hate Twitter they spoiled me man and even fan fictions I'm I've been reading that isn't even like um Jujutsu Kaisen centric it's like a crossover with Fire Force it's a ship fic of Benimaru and um, Toji um, Fushiguro so you know just warning you ahead of time don't look for it if you're not into that if you're not into BL if you're not into um, shipping two characters who aren't uh, in the same universe together who aren't canon blah 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 I'm just I'm just telling you now don't waste your time looking for it even though I really love it so far not a lot of romance I don't think it's gonna be happening for a while because they did tag it as slow burn so yeah, we're gonna be waiting for a while. But anyway, the latest chapter that they updated, spoiled. I mean, Twitter already spoiled it, but my gosh, I, I, I did not know it was also gonna be spoiled in the crossover, in the crossover fanfic. It's so annoying, oh my gosh. I, have, I just put JJK on hiatus for once to, you know, let, it, let the chapters pile up so I can binge read. And the most badass thing happens, you know, the, the most anticipated event happens and I'm like, oh gosh darn it, I, I, I dropped the ball. I did not drop the ball. They, they fucking Miley Cyrus into my room and just spoiled me. So now I'm expecting the latest chapter to be the one where the event, I'm not gonna spoil in this video. No, no, I have, I have, I mean every, <laughs> just by me ranting you already know or you can have a guess as to which event i'm referring to because one if you are a watcher of jjk then you probably know what i'm referring to and then secondly i mean oh my gosh I don't know what I was gonna say about the secondly, so let's just skip that part. Oh my gosh! But yeah, you know what I mean. If you if you read JJK or if you know what's gonna happen, you, the events leading up to um, the manga, even though you haven't read it, you haven't read it, so you know what I mean, right? Oh my gosh! It's so frustrating. I'm so angry. I'm so mad. I just want to scream like. Why did I open Twitter? Why was it on my timeline in the worst possible setting? Why? <sighs> anyway, I still don't know because I immediately clicked off of all the spoiler related information. So I still don't know how he got out. But um, based on the other Jujutsu Kaisen um, fanfic I've read where uh, it was a time traveling fanfic where um, Yuji and his bro, you know, time traveled and all that, and they were looking for a means to solve the future and sort of spoiled the whole thing from the manga, I think. I don't know. Anyway, not related. We're moving on so I don't spoil anything and become one of those fucking tweets on Twitter. Let's talk about Webtoon anime. I don't think I've seen a lot. I'm I've now that I think about it, I don't think I've seen a lot of um, Korean anime. Okay, I, I have an anime planet open right now, Korean animation. So the Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf is actually I think I've watched this on Netflix. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's only one episode. It's like a movie. I have watched that. I did not realize that there's actually a lot 
of Korean animation, but they don't really get mainstream. Oh, there's one called Ghost Messenger. Let me just add that to one to watch. Because I think that, you know, Korean animation, the only thing I've seen is the God of High School and um, Tower of God. I'm so disappointed by Tower of God. It, it, the, the art style for it is kind of... Eh, they simplified it. Which I get it. You know, the, the, the first season of Tower of God wasn't really anything too cool. But the anime looks chibi-ish and I don't like it. <laughs> you know... It's just... Eh. Okay, so the first ones I see are like BL comedy. And it's kind of in line with their um, K dramas that are popular. It's mostly romance. But on Netflix, there has been a lot of medical K drama. I, I, I don't watch a lot of K drama. The only ones I've seen are Vincenzo. I tried watching that divorce attorney Shun or Hyun or whatever Shin. I can't even remember the title. Um, I've only I haven't finished epi- an episode one. Um, Vincent, so I have. I loved it. Really good. Um, I think it would have been better if they. I've noticed that Korean shows have a tendency to include comedy Japanese does it as well like it's an East Asian thing I'm assuming you know to put comedy where there shouldn't be it's like the Marvel effect of like they can never let something be too serious they always have to add some comedic thing to it in order to lighten up the serious tone but nah, it's just let something heavy be heavy you know let it simmer in someone's um, mind. I don't think that's a bad thing. But aside from those two that I mentioned with God of High School and Tower of God, I don't think there's a lot of popular Korean animation that's like, ah, yes, this one. But aside from the Netflix series ones, because obviously, you know. Um, but yeah, anyway. I think that's all for this first episode, this first try of um, rambling, unfiltered, unedited. Um, I'm becoming progressively sicker. <laughs> it's like 10.43. Uh, I wanted to name this 3 a.m. delusions. <laughs> Such a fucking edgy title. But I'm like, I'm not even recording this as, at 3 you know i think i should just call this a ramble rambling run rambling audio (laughs) i don't even know god i suck at making titles i mean clearly have you seen my videos with their basic ass titles (laughs) um but yeah i think that's all for today i think i'm gonna be doing these more frequently like once a week because it's easier that way for me um, I don't have to think about it. I can just vent about a topic that isn't going to be a video. I don't think... Well, it's not really... I don't think it's video material. I just don't want to make a video about it. I want to focus my videos on like a anime or a manga or a TV show maybe. Or a movie or something like that. And not just on, you know hyper-specific tropes or whatever because I don't think I'm knowledgeable enough to talk about those types of stuff and I don't want to make video that's too deep or too heavy because my majors are taking enough of my time because I decided hey you know what I have no other choice my first college course was fucking AB philosophy why did I do that I have no idea I thought it would be a good choice and then a major in history as well so that when I went to law school I had some sort of like philosophical and historic history background historian background <laughs> what a fucking joke 
Now I switch to AB Pulsi and I'm suffering. Hmm. Yeah. Like. <laughs> anyway, these videos. This is why I make these videos. It helps me talk about stuff because I have no friends, you know. And this is my form of stress relief. <laughs> anyway, anyway. You guys are probably annoyed at hearing me click my tongue.